type Windows security in the search box. Open Windows security. Select virus and threat protection. And select scan options. Select full scan option and click scan now. Wait for some time. If error still exists go to another method. Change the registry settings on your computer. Click Windows key plus R pop-up run box. Or type run on search box. Type regedit. Before changing the registry, we request to make a backup of the existing registry on your computer. When the registry editor opens up, on the left hand pane, expand the path on the screen. On the right hand pane, double tap on the default key. Set the value to VB's file. Then, click on OK to save the setting. Remove the keys under the user init value. Type regedit in the search box. Then, just tap on the registry editor. After opening the registry editor, Go to this location showing on the screen. Now, select the keys under the user init value and right click on it, and click on delete. This process may remove the oiscrypt.exe and new virus removal.obs keys from the registry editor. After doing this, close the registry editor window and reboot the system once. Press the Windows key plus Q keys together and type CMD. Then, Right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator to access the terminal. In the command prompt terminal, copy paste these three codes one by one and then hit enter. After that, close the command prompt window. With the help of auto runs to identify the startup.vbs process on the system. And remove it from the system. Select the link from description box. Open in browser. Click on the download auto runs and auto runs to download the auto runs tool. After extracting the file, go to the location where you have just extracted the file. Right click on auto run 64 and then click on run as administrator. Just tap on the agree agree with the license agreement.
Look for filter. Then write a script in the box. Once you have seen the processes, right click on the process which is using running the script file, and then click on delete to delete it. Restart your computer. Click on the search box and start to write CMD. Right click on the command prompt and tap on the run as administrator, write the command showing on screen. Then hit enter. Wait for some time completely scan the system files. Reboot your machine once. Right click on the windows key and click on run. Write rstrui in the box. Then, click on the OK. Click on next. Just tick the show more restore points box. This will show additional restore points on your system. Here choose the restore point by date before this windows update was installed. Click on next. Click on finish to finish up the process. The restoring process will start. Your system will restart and initiate the restoration process. Check if this solves the problem.